Welcome back to Revy's workshop. Yesterday we put some primer down on Kip. So, so um, right today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to give him a um, just a say I um, just a touch up with uh, with 600 of, of grits of sandpaper. Going to get rid of some of these imperfections right here, like this uh, run here and this run over here. A couple wavy lines here that I could smoothen out. And um, I'm also going to give it a guide coat. And basically, uh, I'm going to check and see if I have any um, any black paint. And just, just uh, you know, mist the uh, the area here. Just give it a light mist and then sand it. Just so I could find if there's any um, highs or lows. And that'll uh, definitely help me out to get a, a better, um, make sure that I end up with a good paint job. The paint job, right now, it feels a bit rough because the primer is... Uh, is um fresh but uh once i say once i say them down and i uh, get these runs out then i should expect to have a nice smooth uh surface so that's what i'm going to do right now so right now i'm using this um 180 side of this block because uh, the 120 i think is too coarse so i'm going 180 and i'm just using that right now to um get rid of this drip right here which i could feel the bottom of it so I'm just going to do this here, and there's also a drip down here that I'm going to sand out. But basically, I'm just going to go over the whole car with this, and then I'm going to give it a, another with this 400 extra fine. And then I'll blow the whole thing off and um, get ready to uh, shoot my black. But uh, I'm just going to go through the whole car with this here. Now, let me clarify. After I get rid of these, uh, these drips, then I'm going to go over with the guide coat and do a very, very light dusting of black paint just as a, to use it as a guide coat to identify my highs and lows. Um, I do know that I have a low spot over here, so I'm going to hit that with um, with a little bit more um, uh, uh, Bondo. And this little spot over here also, I'll have to give that a little quick fill. So there's not a lot of imperfections, but there are some. Um, which is to be expected for uh, for my first time, so that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, so I'm getting ready to uh, to do the second coat, and uh, there's a few spots here which uh, didn't exactly get covered up too well, which is to be expected. I don't know if these are coming up on the camera, but uh, a couple spots there, a few uh, right over here that you can still see some white through. So I'm um, just going to... Uh, mix up some more primer um so i'm going to do that and uh give uh, give him another another coat so so far so far everything's looking pretty good except of course um hold on and uh i noticed this over here so i don't know um where that came from but uh i'm just gonna have to hit that one more time i don't know if um if i hit it with the, with the um air hose or what but uh I gotta get that done but um overall it's looking uh, pretty decent um, a little bit of um, difference in color between this area here and this but hopefully that'll get uh, cleared up in uh, in my second coat so I'm gonna start spraying my second coat and uh, see what happens after that flashes